Okay, so what's in my makeup bag? Um, first of all, this is my makeup bag. <laughs> I love Lucy. Me and my obsession with Lucy, of course. <laughs> and the first thing I have is my foundation. Um, let me see if I could focus good. Well, it's ivory, and it's from CoverGirl, which I have to stock up because I'm already running out of my liquid powder makeup, as you can see. I have pretty good coverage. I have my little, well, these are not tweezers. These are, it's like a little razor, but this is actually for your eyebrows. This is to um, shape them and to shave off any um, hairs. My mascara which is from Maybelline. Let's see. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm having a hard time here focusing with the light. This is um, this is black from Maybelline. As you can tell, this one's pretty old too, as the uh, <laughs> the letters are erasing. I have my eyeshadow from LA Colors. And it has a lot of pretty colors. It has pink, a uh, few tones of purple, which I love because I really love um, purple. It has um, nude, mauve. It has a lot of nice colors. Um, I have here a lipstick. This is, let me see. This is a red lipstick. Can't see the name really good. Um, oh, it's called Red. <laughs> what do you know? I thought it would have one of those uh, catchy names. <laughs> well, it's been used a lot, so. As you can tell, I'm almost done with this one. I use Red a lot, you guys. I, I really love the retro look. I know I've mentioned this before, but, you know. <laughs> I'm a retro chick, what can I say? Um, I have this super shiny lip gloss from Ulta, and it's like a like a very light pink. It's really really nice when you put it on. It's very very shiny, very glossy. I have another mascara here. This one I wasn't too happy about it when I bought it because um, this one's also from Maybelline. Um, just looking at the color of it, you guys could tell it's it's Maybelline. Um, I thought it was black, and it just so happens that I guess I didn't read the package good, and when I brought it home, it's actually blue. So even though, like, it makes your lashes look really long, I just don't like the fact that it's blue, and it's, you know, you could, you could, you could tell, like, if somebody, if you're standing in the line and somebody's next to you, and, <laughs> and they get a real good look at your eyelashes, they will notice that it's blue, so... You know, not too happy about it, but you know, I I've used it a few times when I've run out of my of my black one. So yeah. Um, and this one is also like a like a shimmery tan. I don't know. It doesn't like the name erase is so. I've had it for so, such a long time that the name erased. It's still good, though. I still use it. Um, I love the way it looks on me because this, um, this is what I use when I go with the smoky eyes and the light uh, lips. So it's really, really pretty. When you put it on, it's going to look very shiny, very shimmery. It's not lip gloss though. It, it it kind of looks like it, but it it's not. It has you know it gives more color to your lips, and you know if I could describe it as like between a peach, a dark peach, and it has a little bit of brownish in it, but it looks really really nice on your lips. Um, I have this coverage which is for my um, for the dark circles around your eyes. I definitely need this <laughs> because I buy 
you know, by nature, <laughs> have uh, dark circles under my eyes. Um, my great grandfather was Arabic, so you know, people who have Arabic uh, blood usually have the dark circles around the eyes. So, um, yeah, I use this to cover up my dark circles. <laughs> And um, this one is from, let me see, Fair Claire. Okay, I thought I thought it said Clay Raw, but I'm sorry, you guys. This camera doesn't really focus that good, so there's no there's no point in showing you guys. But um, invisible concealer. I read it now, and it's yeah. I don't I don't know. It's from Fair Claire. It, it's a weird name. I've never heard of it before. But it covers really good, so I use it from time to time to um, really cover those um, dark circles under your eyes. Um, this one is my favorite, Holiday Red, and it's from Jordana. This one's also <laughs> played out a lot, as you can tell. I've used it a whole lot. One of my favorite um, shades of lipstick. And let me see what else we have here. This one is Shine Supreme Color from, um, it's from Avon actually. It's really good. It's called Pecan Shine. And it's a really pretty color too. It's, um, it makes your lips look very uh, brownish really nice too. And what I like about this lipstick is that um, it dries in a way that if you were to, you know, kiss someone, it's not going to rub off on them. Um, it's not going to rub off on your napkin. It dries pretty good and it lasts a long time. Like, I could have it on all day and before bed wash my face and have a really hard time taking it off because it just stays in, on your lips for a while. So it's really, really good lipstick. And let me see what else I have here. Let me look at it up close because I can't even read the name. It's called Precedence Red. Precedence Red, okay. <laughs> and this one, oh, this one hasn't been used much. I know why, because although it's red, it's that tomato looking red and I just don't like the way it looks on me. I like darker shades of red, like apple red and you know, this one's more like tomato color. So I just don't like the way it looks on me. It looks kind of orangey. When I put it on, like you look at the lipstick and it looks red, but when you when I put it on my lips, they say everybody's skin is different, so the lipstick will look different. For example, this this one lipstick will look different on everybody else like you know it won't look the same on me as on you it's it's weird I guess it depends on the tone of our lips but on me these uh, tomato red looking lipsticks just don't look good like they look orangey and I I don't like that that's not the tone of red I like for my lips for at least for my retro look um, this is mate Nate Red. Let me see which one. I think this one I've used it a lot too. Oh well, yeah, I have. This one is uh, also another shade of red that I've used a lot. So I guess that one was was good because of <laughs> you could tell the difference. The ones I don't like, I I hardly use them. This one is Cherry. It's called Cherry. It's also red, and it's weird because. As you can tell, I haven't used this one that much either. I've used mostly the Holiday Red. It's practically new. I mean, I have used it a few times, but I don't like the way it looks on me. Um, this one is not that tomato red. And the funny thing is that when you look at it, it looks like that red that I like, the red that actually looks good on me. But when I put it on my lips, for some reason, it, it looks different. It looks kind of purplish. I, I can't explain it, you guys. Just, you know... Once you find the lipstick that looks good on you, you don't <laughs> you don't ever want to change. 
16. Let me see what's left here. Well, this used to be this I need to dump out. I don't even know why I still have this here. This used to be, um, hold on, guys, I was having a hard time opening it. This used to be a liquid liner, I think. No, not a, well, yeah, sort of like a liquid liner. See the pencil is like really, really thin. And when you shake it, you see it, the noise it makes? It has like a little bonsai or something. I don't know. It looks like a pen, actually, like a very thin, one of those Sharpie markers. But see, the tip is very thin. And it was like a, it's almost like a liquid liner. But this has totally dried out. This is really old, and it doesn't have anything. Hold on, I'm trying to close it. Okay. So this I need to throw away. <laughs> and last but not least, I have my brick color lip liner, which I've used a lot too. I like using this. Sorry, with um my red. My holiday red that I've used the most for um for the retro book, and I love the way this this outlines my lips and it just blends in with the lipstick. It's just really really nice. So yeah, guys, that's it. <laughs> there you have it. That's um what's in my makeup bag. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Bye.